should they both play this season? Look, AD's going to come back. LeBron's probably going to be out. I want it to end. Oh, I, I, come it, on. It, I want it to end this year because it's gotten comical. I mean, I'm tired of seeing Russ out here playing how he's looking. This guy's a legend. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see him go out like this. I don't want to see these press conferences that we're seeing. I don't want to hear LeBron try and put on airs that this is the greatest season he's had in his lifetime of playing. Now, that's hyperbole, but acting like he's having a time of his life. He ain't having a time of his life. When you're wired like that and you're losing like this, mm -hmm. I don't care about statistically what you're doing. I'm here to tell you, LeBron is having a miserable time. He wants to get through the end of this season, and the Lakers should. They should want to put this to bed. Best case scenario, they don't make the play in. That's the best it. case scenario. That is the best case scenario. You get this thing done. You let LeBron sit out, save his miles for a legit championship run. Now, I know what he's chasing. Mm -hmm. A scoring title of 37 would be incredible. Another, another notch on a belt that has so many notches on it, it's absurd. And he's still chasing that Kareem all-time scoring record. I think he should stay in the Lakers system and do it in a Lakers uniform. I don't think he should go on and leave. But I think it needs to end this year. What are you playing for? So why oh, so you get into the play? You get into the play in, you win a game. And then you play in a series and you get embarrassed, you're gonna go out getting embarrassed. It's just gonna be another embarrassing chapter to a miserable season. Why do you wanna see that? Well, like the Lakers woke up this morning, as Christine just said, tied for 10th. And I, the Spurs own the tiebreaker, whatever it is. Nonetheless, they're still technically kind of in the play in situation. Mm -hmm. If you get, get your out. star back, if you get your star back in Anthony Davis and LeBron and AD, who have already won a chip together, I don't need to go through all the accolades the two of them have. How do you know they, they're laughing on the sidelines together in street clothes? How do you not know what you have there? You don't know what's going to happen. You know what you have there? So to shut it down, what do you have, seven games? I don't know, I have the Lakers schedule in front of me, but there's something like. I think they like got six left, maybe? Six games left. Six games left, and then according to you, they're going to lose it right away in the play-in. What do you want to see, what do you see happen? seven games left, let them play it out and see what happens. What? Play till the end. You're a Christine, I apologize. It's about to go here. I'm apologizing. <laughs> you're you're going oh, to oh, throw in the towel. Wanted, Time's up, even though our two stars who've already run a chip together might come back, and maybe they can what go happens? on. What happens? Tell me what happens when they come back and play together. I don't know, Jordan. We haven't seen two healthy LeBron James and Anthony Davis barely at all this season, and maybe you could find a way to make some magic happen. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying the thought of shutting them down when they could potentially be healthy and find a way into a play-in seems ridiculous for two competitors when you only have six games left. What's seven more games? Buzzword, healthy. Anthony Davis, healthy. When does that happen? How many times have we seen now with Anthony Davis being healthy, Shay? That's the issue here. Let Anthony Davis, well, hey, you want to play a couple games here? Fine. I hope it doesn't get to the postseason for reasons I laid out. But move on from Anthony Davis. Give Why LeBron, would you keep LeBron but move on from Anthony Davis? Because give LeBron some no assets sense. around him. Retry how to make this thing work. Look, they're buried in these contracts. People might, want, might not want to take an Anthony Davis. Certainly not a Russell Westbrook. But you have to try to find a way. She's pulling out the cell phone. We do this on our on our other shows. She pulls out her cell phone. She's pulling <laughs> out some serious stats. stats. They're about to come. About to come. She's about to come with the pain. Yeah. But ultimately what it comes down to is you've got to find a way to think past this year. There's no miracle that's going to come. See, my wife, she hates going to bed watching shows that have a dark side to it, a horror film, scary movie. a scary yeah. movie. Do you yeah, like okay. that? I hate that I kind of She wants to watch the ones with a happy ending. That's what she likes to see. She look at me. Get off the phone for a second. There's no happy ending with these Lakers. I do want to ask you, Shane, what do you, what do you think the Lakers' ceiling is then? If they if they go into the postseason with a healthy LeBron yeah, and a healthy I, well, AD. I'm not saying the Lakers are going to go on a run and rip through like the Grizzlies and the right. Warriors and the Suns. I'm not saying they're going to chip up. I'm just saying when you have two nasty competitors who've already won a chip together, they're trying to get healthy at the right time and they have even a spark of a chance to shut that down makes absolutely no sense for me. For six, seven, maybe eight games, hey, if they win one, you, you got to win one in the play -in. You win one. You advance, and we'll go from there. But to just say, hey, let's shut it down, don't matter if they're healthy, it, it, it doesn't make sense. You know, what's, you know what's so funny in all this is we're talking about we're promoting it tonight, 1030, Pelicans are playing the Lakers. You know who's pretty sexy to me? The Pelicans. The Pelicans quietly have a decent little roster put together there mm -hmm. with C.J. McCollum, who gets buckets, and you got Brandon Ingram, who gets buckets, two of the best scorers in this league. Defensively, Herb Jones is elite. Talk about a guy who can guard a bunch of different spots on the floor. Larry Nance is going to go down as one of the more intelligent moves to get him on that roster as another great defender. And Jonas Valanciunas is a big. This core is pretty cool to watch and has a chance to do some pretty cool Good. things. Perfect. So but moves Anthony on Davis there and, too. and LeBron come back and they beat the Pelicans. Are you going to change your tune? No, Perfect, because they could both return tonight. No, because so we'll that's this my point. <laughs> my, my point about this is. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling uh, at here's me? My, here's great. my point. Great. There's a future with the Pelicans. There's a future in what you see there. 
core. What do we do with Zion? Do we bring Zion back and enhance this thing? Oh, or do we move no Zion and add some there. more pieces to a good culture and a group that can do some things? Right now with the Lakers, to me, it only looks like LeBron. And to me, it doesn't look like AD has a future with him. And certainly, Russ does not have a future with him. And you should be concerned with only keeping LeBron, unless you're blowing this whole thing up. But the only piece that's sexy to me to keep there in L.A. is LeBron James. Why and when I look at the Lakers LeBron, and I look at the Pelicans, either. a team they're playing tonight, and I say I enjoy watching the Pelicans more, and the Pelicans have a better future than the Lakers, we have problems. So let's blow the whole thing up. Fine. If you want to get rid of A.D. and LeBron, fine. But to keep one and not the other... That's why? why I love her. She's loyal. She's lo <laughs> that's, hey, that's, that's why I married you. Yeah. Loyalty. Well, that's right. She wants to keep this thing together but to the bitter end. I don't know about that Either blow it part. up or, or, or keep them both. But you're not going to... What good is LeBron without another piece? We've seen duos in this league. You need win. a healthy piece. So are you going to go we, get We've heard it time and time again. Like, What's the best coming? ability? We've heard it on this show several times. Best ability, availability. Mm -hmm. And we don't have that with Anthony Davis. That's and true. at the end of the day, LeBron James is only getting older no matter how great he's playing. These are wasted miles right now, and there's nothing worse for a legend like that than wasted the miles. The only thing I'll agree with you on is that, that Anthony Davis ha has not been healthy, he's not durable, and you're right, he's not available a lot of the times, and it's going to take him a game or two, like we've seen in the past, to obviously get his footing under him. Uh, it'd be so weird to have a postseason without LeBron James, though, wouldn't it? Hey, but I, you're not going to get it with a playing game. That's not yes, postseason. I don't want. You know what? I don't want to see. So I don't want to see LeBron James like this anymore. I don't like it. I don't watch. I don't like watching LeBron play He's from Ohio. meaningless Let basketball. <laughs> Let him have it. He's from Ohio. He's like feeling hey, something. Hey, don't do that to Ohio. You're okay. a Bengals fan now. No, I'm, I am. Don't. I am not a Bengals fan. <laughs> when, the, when the finger comes out, we need to go to break. Yeah. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube for live streaming, sports, and premium content. Subscribe to ESPN Plus.